Hello, I am Professor N. B. Hulle from G. H. Raisuni Institute of Engineering and Technology. And in this video, we will try to understand the basics of statically induced EMF and dynamically induced EMF. To begin with, here I will consider uh, this arrangement where we have uh, taken the two coils. That is, we have considered the two coils that is A and B. This is coil A and this is the coil B. And assumption is that these two coils are coupled to each other. And uh, flux produced by A completely links with the flux produced, uh, com completely links with the coil B. And here another assumption is that if the current in coil A changes, then flux produced in the coil A changes and the flux linking with the coil B also changes. And due to the change in the flux of coil A and coil B, EMF will be induced in both coils. And EMF induced in the first coil due to change in its own flux or own current is known as a self-induced EMF. And EMF induced in the second coil due to the change in the flux or current of the first coil that is coil A is known as a dynamic, uh, sorry, mutually induced EMF. I will go through the uh, next slide here in this case. The EMF induced in the coil A due to the change in its own flux is known as a self-induced EMF. This is the self-induced EMF. Means if its current or flux changes and EMF is induced in the coil A itself, then it is known as a self-induced EMF. Similarly, EMF is also induced in the coil B due to change in the flux linked with the coil B, which is from the coil A, is known as a mutually induced EMF. Means indirectly. If the current or flux of the first coil changes, that is A coil changes and EMF is induced in the coupled coil, that is B coil, this EMF is known as mutually induced EMF. And here, both EMFs are induced or produced due to any physical motion of the coil. We are neither rotating this coil or this coil or any magnet. In that particular case, EMF is induced due to physical motion of the coil. That's why this particular EMF is known as a statically induced EMF. And both EMFs, that is a self-induced EMF and mutual induced EMF, both are statically induced EMF. And here, as far as the next thing is concerned, if the EMF is induced in the coil due to the physical motion of the coil, then that EMF is known as a dynamically induced EMF. The example is the DC generator in which the EMF is induced due to the physical motion of the coil. That is known as armature and that is dynamically induced EMF. And here the transformer is the best example of the coupled coil in which neither coil A is rotating, neither coil B is rotating, but flux is changing in the coil A. Similarly, the flux linked with the coil B also changes and EMF is induced in the coil and that is nothing but the working principle of the transformer. Now here we have the two definitions here that is self-induced, uh, self-inductance and uh, uh, that is mutual inductance. Self-inductance, it is different as it is a property of the coil inducing EMF due to change in the flux linked with it as a result of a change in the current in the same coil. Means d phi by di for n number of the turns is nothing but its self-inductance. That is, it is different as the change in the flux linked with the coil due to the change in the current of the same coil is known as a self-inductance which is L. Now here in this case uh, we want to find out the simple derivation or derivation for the L in terms of its dimensions. Now here for that particular case we have considered it phi. It is given by MMF divided by S. This MMF is nothing but N into I where N is the number of turns, I is the current flowing through the coil and S is the reluctance of that particular magnetic path. Means here arrangement may be something like this. Uh, maybe selenide or maybe some core something like this and in this particular case here if we have this particular coil and here applied force is the MMF and here in this particular case this current is the I and reluctance of this magnetic path which is the S which can be taken in terms of its dimensions. So here what we want, we want its value in terms of dimensions, means we want the d5 by dt from this particular equation. Means if we are differentiating this equation number 2 with respect to i, then it will be d5 by di 
and it is d5 by di if we are calculating that particular term which is equal to the differentiation of i with respect to i will be the constant uh, will be 1 and in that particular case means here differentiation of this particular term with respect to i is constant which is n upon s means d5 by di is nothing but it is n upon s and if we are substituting this value if we are substituting this value in place of this particular value then we have the final equation that is l is equal to n into n upon s which is nothing but that is n square upon s and generally we will use this equation for the calculation of the self inductance of the coil that is n square upon s because n is the number of turns are known and uh, reluctance of the magnetic path is also known sometimes dimensions are given from that particular case we can calculate its value well the reluctance of the magnetic path this is about the self inductance similarly we have the another term which is the mutual inductance when the two inductors or two coils are uh, close in proximity to each other and the flux or current changing in one coil then emf is induced in the other coil which is nothing but the mutual induced emf but the mutual inductance is a property of coil inducing emf due to the change in the flux linked with e with it as a result of current change in the other coil as a result of change in the current of the other coil means here this mutual inductance is nothing but number of turns of that particular coil divided uh, sorry into d phi 2 means flux of the second coil or linkage of the flux with the second coil with respect to the change in the current of the first coil that is d phi 2 upon d i 1 is the mutual inductance now here this n2 is same term but phi 2 is flux in the second coil and the flux in the second coil is nothing but flux of the first coil linking with the second coil that is nothing but the phi 1 2 but what what is our assumption our assumption is a flux in the second coil is same as a flux linked from the first coil to the second coil which is same as a phi 1 because our we are assuming that the coupling is a perfect coupling in that particular case the phi 2 is very same as the phi 1 that's why the final equation will be n2 into d phi 1 upon di 1 is the mutual inductance of the second coil Again here a definition of the phi 1 is nothing but it is n1 i1 upon s and if we are differentiating this equation with respect to i1 in that case it is d phi 1 upon d i1 and here a differentiation of this particular term with respect to i1 will be constant which is n1 upon s and if we are substituting this value in this particular equation in the equation number 1 which is in place of this quantity means we have the final term which is nothing but this n2 which is the same as it is this n2 is the same which is as it is this is n2 and d phi 1 upon di1 this can be replaced by this particular term which is n1 upon s and final equation will be that is mutual inductance is nothing but n1 into n2 upon s and this is the final equation for the mutual inductance used whenever its dimensions are known and in majority of the calculation of the mutual inductance uh, for a given particular coil and for a given particular magnetic path we will use generally this equation that is m is equal to n1 into n2 upon s is uh, the mutual inductance of the coil or mutual inductance between the two coils now here we will move to the new term that is a self-induced emf now here if we are dealing with the self induced emf self emf induced in the coil a due to change in its own flux is known as a self induced emf and we are interested to find out here expression for the self induced emf now here according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that is v is equal to our induced emf is equal to minus n into d phi by dt that is rate of change of flux where this minus sign comes from the lenz's law now here in this particular case uh, uh, this uh, n is as it is d5 by di just we will divide and multiply by this i term that is di here and di here and d5 by di now here but we know that this particular term this particular term that is n into d5 by di n into d5 by di is nothing but uh, the inductance which is l if we are substituting this value here as l in this particular case then we have the final equation that is voltage induced in the same coil due to change in the flux or current of the same coil itself or first coil itself then induced emf will be v is equal to minus l into d5 by, sorry di by dt where minus sign indicates the it is opposite to that of the cost producing it this is about the self-induced emf and generally we will use this formula for the calculation of the self 
induced the emf which is v is equal to minus l into di by dt for first coil it will become l1 into di1 upon dt for second coil uh, or self induced emf other coil will become l2 into it is di2 by dt will be self induced emf in the other coil now here if we are dealing with the calculation of the uh, mutually induced emf emf induced in the coil b due to the change in the flux linked with the coil b that is from the coil A is known as a mutually induced EMF. And again here, according to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, the mutually induced EMF in the coil B is given by expression that is V2 is equal to N2 that is number of turns of the second coil into phi2 that is D phi2 that is change in the flux in the second coil uh, that is D phi by DT that is a rate of change of flux. Now here this phi2 is nothing but flux of the second coil. And uh, here, this phi 1 to it is very same as the phi 1 to that is the flux of the second coil is nothing but flux linking from the first coil to the second coil. That is uh, d phi 1 to upon dt. But here, we are assuming that uh, the, uh, 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 the flux available in the first coil is linking completely with the second coil. This d phi 1 to that is uh, flux of the first coil linking with the second coil is same as uh, the flux available in the first coil. That's why it is uh, minus N2 into it is d phi 1 upon dt. Now here in this case, this d phi 1, what we are doing, we are dividing and multiplying by the uh, i1 term. That is di1 and uh, divided by di1, multiplying and dividing by the similar terms. Now here, but we know that uh, the mutual inductance of the second coil is given by the expression that is m is equal to, that is n2 into, it is d phi 1 upon di1. And if we are substituting this value here in this expression, now here this whole term will become, that is m means it is v2 is equal to this minus sign as it is it is m into di1 upon dt is the mutually induced emf in the coil number two similarly and as generally we will use this expression for the calculation of the mutual mutual induced emf in the second coil similarly uh, if uh, the voltage or mmf is applied to the coil number two in that case uh, the mutually induced emf in the coil number one will be that is minus m into di2 upon dt. This is the expression for the mutually induced EMF in the coil number A, that is A coil. And this is the formula for mutually induced EMF in the second coil, that is nothing but in the coil B. And these are the formulas used for the calculation of the mutual induced EMF, maybe in the coil A or maybe in the coil number 2, that is B coil. Now here we will uh, deal with the last term which is nothing but the coefficient of coupling in this particular topic. The coefficient of coupling that is a K. Now here what are the assumptions we are considering the two coils that is coil A and coil B. Here I am assuming this is as the coil A and uh, uh, this is the coil B. What the coil A consists of? Coil A consists uh, has the uh, self inductance L1 and uh, coil B has the self inductance that is L2. Flux of the first coil is a phi1. Flux of the second coil is a phi2. Number of terms of the coil A is N1. Number of terms of the coil B is N2. Now here another further assumptions are now here in this case what we are assuming this phi12 that is a flux of the first coil linking with the second coil. In the previous examples, we have assumed that uh, the uh, flux, to, flux produced by the coil A is completely linking with the coil B. But here, in this case, we are assuming that the flux K1 phi 1 is the flux of the first coil is linking with the second coil. Means this K is the coefficient of coupling for the coil number 1. And generally, this value is less than 1. If this K is equal to 1, means in that case, uh, the flux linking with the second coil, that is coil B, is the very same as the flux available in the coil A. Now here, generally, this value is less. This here, it is K1 into phi 1 is the flux of coil A linking with the coil B. Similarly, Flux produced by flux available in the coil B also links with the coil A. That is, phi 2 n is the flux of the second coil linking with the first coil. And here, k2 and phi 2, these are the parameters we are assuming. This k2 is the coefficient of coupling, that is, uh, of the first coil, uh, second coil flux linking with the uh, coil number A or the first coil. Now, here, this phi 1 1 is the flux of the first coil linking with itself. Uh, phi 2 2 is the flux of the coil 2 linking with itself. Uh, we are not looking into this because we are finding the coefficient of coupling. Means we are interested in 
flux of the second coil linking with the first coil and flux of the first coil linking with the second coil previously we have taken these values as a, a, a complete values that is k we have taken it as one now here we are interested to calculate the equation for the coefficient of coupling now we will start with these assumptions now here the mutual inductance of the coil b the mutual inductance of the coil b will be this this is m is equal to n2 into d phi 1 2 upon di1 which is very same as this phi 1 2 that is flux of the first coil linking with the second coil because we are calculating the mutual inductance of the second coil this phi 1 2 we have taken it as a k1 into phi 1 that is part of the flux linking with the second coil which is k1 into phi 1 now this k1 is a constant of coupling that's why this will uh, become that is n2 into this is n2 into this k we are taking as a constant that is d phi 1 upon di1 is the uh, expression for or this is the equation for uh, the mutual inductance of the second coil similarly the mutual inductance of the coil that is first coil will be that is m1 is equal to n1 into d phi 2 1 upon di2 that is phi 2 1 is nothing but flux of the second coil linking with the first coil with respect to the change in the current of the second coil and we are taking this value as k2 into phi 2 this n1 into differentiation of k2 phi 2 upon di2 again this k2 is the constant this here it will be n1 into k2 in the differentiation of the phi 2 with respect to i2 means coefficient of the coupling of the coil a will be our uh, mutual inductance of the coil or mutual inductance of the coil a will sorry coil a will be this particular value now here in this case this is the mutual inductance of the coil a and this is the mutual inductance of the coil b but mutual inductance between the two coils that's why its value for uh, the coil 1 or coil 2 uh, uh, is the same if we are taking its multiplication of these two terms that is m square this m square is nothing but this particular value that is n2 into k1 d phi 1 upon di1 and this value is uh, that is uh, n2 into or n1 into k2 into d phi 2 upon di2 these values if we are finding its multiplication this will be it is n1 and an n2 then it is a k1 then it is a k2 divided by 1 and what i have tried to do i have to separate out this term that is d phi 1 upon di1 is here and this is d phi 2 upon di2 this term is here that is just mathematical adjustments are there but here we already know that the l1 is the n1 into d phi 1 upon di1 and l2 is n2 n2 into d phi 2 upon di2 this here in this case if we are doing the some proper adjustment that is here in this case if we are doing the adjustment something like this this is the first term that is n1 d phi 1 upon di1 this value is nothing but the l1 similarly uh, if uh, this value that is n2 again this particular value will be these particular values will be that is l2 and if we are doing some proper adjustment something like this this is k1 k1 and k2 divided by 1 here n1 d phi 1 upon di1 and n2 d phi 2 upon it is di2 and this value is the L1 that is self inductance of the first coil, this value is the L2 that is self inductance of the second coil. If this is K1 into K2, this value will become L1 and this value will become M2, which is nothing but the M square. And if we are uh, taking the root on both sides, in this case, this M is equal to this is under root of uh, this is K1, K2 in bracket, it is in uh, into it is L1 into L2. And if we are taking this particular value that is under root of uh, k1 and k2 as a coefficient of coupling then remaining term will be this particular value means here in from this particular case if we are finding this value of the under root k1 and k2 this value is m divided by under root l1 and l2 means here in this case the coefficient of coupling will be that is k is equal to m upon it is under root l1 and l2 will be the coefficient of coupling in this particular case means these are the simple uh, things that is self induced DMF that is mutually induced DMF self inductance mutual inductance self induced DMF mutual induced DMF dynamically induced DMF and finally the derivation or expression for the coefficient of coupling that's all for this particular video thank you